This particular house, it's newer stock too, right? 1956 build, okay? In the Cleveland market, a 1956 build is basically like f***ing new construction, okay? With all of those goodies that I talk about, uh, your rent really gets pushed up quite high, right? 1450 is about what we would anticipate getting in rent for this particular property, right? Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Location, 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 y'all. Location, right? You want to invest in Cleveland, but you don't want to end up in the Tenants from Hell show archives, right? You don't want to see your property get ransacked by friggin' animals. You might want to consider buying in a neighborhood that is very low risk, high quality, right? One of the better neighborhoods, more desirable neighborhoods in the city of Cleveland right here for you today, y'all. 6009 Delora, all right? The 44144 zip, right? That's very few properties in the actual proper, Cleveland proper, city of Cleveland proper that share this zip code, right? Most of it is Brooklyn. Not to be confused with Old Brooklyn, which is a neighborhood in the city of Cleveland, okay? Brooklyn itself, different city, generally much higher quality uh, properties, higher property values, better school system, more desirable. You're right over there. You're right by friggin' Ridge Park Square. Major draw, right? You got all kinds of stuff. You got... You got Lowe's, you got freaking restaurants, you got the TJ Maxx, I don't remember, but I think there's still a Bed Bath & Beyond over there, all kinds of stuff, right? Uh, and then you're just a hop, skip, and a jump over from Parma. Not to mention Jack Frost Donuts is over there, too. That is one of the better friggin' donut places. If you ever fly into Cleveland because you're all trying to learn about the Cleveland Marketplace, I highly recommend you get some Jack Frost Donuts, man. That's... I've been eating donuts there since I was like friggin' six years old. Great donut place. Although, to be honest, I should probably eat more carrots, less donuts. But hey, whatever. They're dope as hell. Now, this particular house, it's newer stock too, right? 1956 build, okay? In the Cleveland market, a 1956 build is basically like fucking new construction, okay? I know if you're coming from the West Coast or like Vegas or something, you're like, what? 1956? That's old as hell. No, not out here, dog. Out here, that's new, right? A lot of stuff in the Cleveland market you're going to be seeing like knob and tube wiring uh 100 year old friggin pipes and stuff because you're going to see a lot of stuff built in like the 1915 19 19 teens 1920s 1915 a lot of stuff, you know stuff like that right so 1956 is fairly new right so with all of those goodies that i talk about uh your rent really gets pushed up quite high right 1450 is about what we would anticipate getting in rent for this particular property, right? Um, now, as far as the lead certification, uh, this has been owned by an owner-occupant, so it's never had any of that stuff done. So if you were to turn this into a rental property, you would need to get that lead certified. But, of course, the seller is not going to go through that process because it's an owner-occupied home. That's never been applicable, right? Those are new laws that affect Cleveland landlords only. So if you're interested in learning about how that stuff works, I will put a link uh, to the lead certification laws and program in the notes below that's only applicable to landlords right so if like you own the house and you live in the house like these folks you don't have to do that right they will be moving out uh upon closing right and then just new landlord comes in pops in a uh, well not new landlord new owner i guess i should say right because there was never an old landlord because again they own it they live there it's a family home uh but if you were to buy it as an investment property you come in do a probably quick fifteen twenty thousand dollar cosmetic reno. Get it spruced up. Get yourself fourteen fifty. Probably don't need to go section eight or anything like that. You're gonna get uh, a pretty high solid like probably B grade tenant base here, right? So if you want to get into this market, but you do not want to deal with the risks, you don't want to end up on my tenants from hell show. This is the kind of property you want, right? So from here, if y'all want to make an offer on the property. Go ahead and send my team an offer, sales at holtonwise.com. You can make a contingent on inspection. If you'd like to physically tour the property prior to making your offer, that is totally fine too. Just let me know, and I will coordinate it between you and the owner so you could take a look at everything, rock and roll. And last but not least, if you need financing, I have that for you as well, right? So it doesn't matter to me where you live. I have financing for investors in all 50 states, even... 
out of the country investors. Just let my team know. Let's go. Yep. Just be careful because they had a bunch of dogs going through the door with little ones. Gotcha. They were trying to sniff me though. I wasn't trying to get them. And they know we're coming in? Yeah, I just told them to knock real quick. Okay. And then I'll just stick behind you. Yeah, it looks like it, right? basement and then go back to the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Okay. We'll ask them kind of what's up. Okay. Somebody might be showering or something. Yeah, it's on, it sounded like somebody was in there. Yeah. No, should be good. I don't know. Maybe it's a furnace in a little bit. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Easy killer. <laughs> Someone was in the bathroom, so are we not able to get in there? I don't want to. No, I, yeah, yeah. If I someone's like so. shower or something, I'll oh, really? okay. no, it just sounded like someone was in there, so I didn't want to just open it up or knock, you know? Well, yeah, that's pretty much the last thing we would need up there. Maybe you can get a different angle on the other side. Oh, okay. I thought it was just a wall. Yeah, well, this it's still blocked by yeah, it's, the chimney. I don't know if you can maybe see it through the... But yeah, I could try. It is, it is kind of strong. It looks like it's in pretty good shape, though. Uh, yeah. It's hard to tell. And then, do you know where the electric panels are? Um, I didn't see back there. You might as well show it if you want to film it. See what's back there. Oh, oh, it's like oh, it is back there. You have to fit in. Uh, gotta be a tight one. There we I think 
that's good for down here, right? Pretty much, yeah. Just if we can get that back there, maybe show that corner over there. It's a pretty cool fireplace looking thing. Thank you. Is that a heater? Yeah. Nice. Those are always kind of cool. When we bought it, we thought it was going to come like that. And when they delivered it, it was all pieces and boxes. And they all yeah. got to put it together. <laughs> Self assembly required. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if you can just pop in that bathroom, that'll be warmed on, baby. And I don't know if you want me to pop in that bedroom and just get an angle looking towards the door. Which one, that one? Yeah, I don't think we actually walked in that one. It's got newer windows. Well, anyway, it's vinyl. It's not that old wood, you know. <laughs> Some bandages. Yeah, you know, you from that corner. Yeah, there's like a kid playing something, so I just yeah. didn't want to. Oh, he was in here? Yeah, I just oh, didn't want to get like yeah, the. Okay. I didn't know that. Get a little kid on right. the camera. Make sure you get that. The wall and the patches and stuff. Most specifically, that big one up there. Yeah, I thought this room was completely empty. Not bad. We should be good. I don't know if you want me to just film the walkout, just a little footage. Yeah, I don't know. I'll get the drone out and uh, get some stuff going out there. We'll be good. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.